This video tutorial will show you how to use your multi-track audio to make a split screen video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So begin by opening Premiere Pro and clicking on New Project. Go ahead and give it a title. This title is the title of the file which is an Adobe Premiere Pro file. You can change the title of your movie when you go to export the media at the very end of the project. Click OK. So as we look at Adobe Premiere Pro, there are many different workspaces. The first one to concern yourself with is down here in the left corner, and that's where we want to import media to start. Go ahead and drop your, open your files into that workspace. And then go back and get your audio file. Okay, so we have the four video files and the one audio file. Next, we're going to drop the videos into our timeline workspace. Just grab it and drag it and drop it, and it will create, you'll see video tracks and audio tracks. For every video you place in, it will create an audio track. Now it begins you with three of each, but as you add more tracks, it will automatically create more tracks. You'll add the second and the third and fourth video right on top of these. And you can see the audio tracks and the four video tracks. And then your multi-track audio, we can drop right here. Move that over to the end. You can go ahead and resize all these workspaces based on what you need. You can also toggle or zoom to make the tracks larger or smaller so that you can see everything you need to see. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the proper frame size. Sometimes when you upload vertical shots as I have done here, it'll automatically make the frame size to match that file. We're going to change that frame size though to make a standard frame size that matches watching this on a TV or computer by clicking on Sequence, Sequence Settings. We want to have a custom editing mode and then we want that frame size to be 1920 by 1080. Click OK, and you'll get a little warning that's just telling you that it's going to have to redraw this frame size. It's OK. Click OK. All right, now we have the proper frame size for making a video to be watched on a TV or on a computer screen. Next, we want to start moving these videos around, and we're going to use a few different workspaces at this point. On my screen, you're seeing um, the individual workspace for the video that's present. And you're also seeing the effects menu, which is over here. If you don't see effects, go ahead up here. You'll see assembly, editing, color effects. Go ahead and click on effects and make sure that that pops up so that's on your right, right hand side. If you need to move it over, make it smaller, go ahead and do that. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'll show you what I think is the fastest and easiest. We're just going to go ahead and double click on this first video. And you can see that you have all these nice um, resizing uh, measuring tools. And you can use that to resize and then just move your video around. You'll also see that when I double clicked, all the information regarding that audio track has popped up over here, and that's video effects, um, audio effects, anything that I want to do to that video, all of that information and all those measurements are right here. If I wanted to add additional video or audio effects to this, I would come over here and we have audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, and video transitions. You'll use the transitions. Um, you'll add transitions, for example, if you want everything to dissolve or to, to come in nicely or dissolve nicely with your transitions, this is where you'll find them. 
and you can click on them and just drop them depending on where you want it at the beginning or the end of that track make sure when you do it if you come over here in the middle it won't let you drop it you want to do it right at the very beginning or the very end and so if I'm using dissolve to black I'm to black I'm going to use that at the very end if you wanted to um, work with video effects so for example if I wanted to crop this image a little bit which I do I would go into video effects transform here's that crop I'm not going to move that to the track I'm gonna move it over here to the workspace and just drop it and then I have these fun little toggles if I just hover above that measurement I can click whoops I can click and just start adjusting And if you look at you can see how I'm cropping my video frame like that so I'm gonna crop that a little bit on each side and also on the bottom and on the right side okay and then I can go ahead and move that to wherever I want it on the screen and then you'll do the same thing with each video double click it if you wanted to once you have it selected you can change the position over here under video effects motion position and scale by using that toggle or you can just select it and resize it right here Again, I want to crop this video, so I'm going to grab crop over here my effects and drop it over here. And I'm going to crop out the top of this. If you're not seeing all of your videos, you might just want to move the cursor over into the uh, program playback window down here or the timeline, and then you'll find you'll see all your videos. Double click that last one and move it and resize it. And so you can you can place these however you want to whatever works for you okay so now I'm going to go back to these effects I know that I want all of my video to um, dip to black so now I'm going to go ahead and add that to each one just dragging it over you cannot select all the tracks and drop one effect and have it apply to all. It doesn't work. If you need to make edits to your tracks, like for the duration of the track, right down here is your timeline toggle that moves you through your timeline. This, if you grab either end, you can change your zoom so you can see more detail. And then when you hover on the track, you'll see these little uh, red measuring sticks pop up and you can use those to make edits as well I'm gonna hit control Z to undo that if you wanted to change the duration of your effects you'll want to zoom in some more toggle over and then you'll see the same little yardstick pop up and you can change you can change that duration as well Okay, you can also trim your tracks if you need to do some editing or maybe you want to just really specify only one second of that track or however long for the duration. You can use this little razor blade right here. This is your razor tool. And when you come over, you make sure you're inside the track, get it to where you want it, and then just click. 
and then you can see you've created a break in the track and so you could use your selection tool and select that and do just an audio effect there you you know turning down the audio turning up the audio doing an audio transition or a video transition whatever you want to do if you don't want to do that to the entire video track you can just clip it and and just do one portion of it I'm going to undo that with a control Z because I don't want to do that okay so now at this point I have my audio in it's muted from the video tracks. I have all my video um, coming out and dissolving to black. So the next thing I want to do is create a title. Now, if I wanted the title to be in a black on a black background, I could select all these tracks, including your audio, and move them as a group. So for however many seconds you wanted, let's say about three seconds, and you can watch your um, your time in the various measurements of time both here and here and or let's say you had some time between tracks if you see essentially any kind of blank blank space in your um, timeline if you right click on it you'll get something that says ripple delete and that'll get rid of any blank space between tracks or just the beginning of the timeline but again if we wanted to move everything over just go ahead and um, select them all then you can move them as a unit to however many seconds you want to move it to you can see the counter is moving on the play playback okay so let's say it takes about three seconds to read anything okay so good three seconds now we have this nice open space and this is where we can now add a title we're going to click on the text or type tool right there and then go up into the screen and place that title wherever we want it. So I'm going to be a little mindful. Okay, I want to, I'm going to put up in that left-hand corner. So just click right here on your playback screen. Click one time, and then you can start typing. Now, if you want to change the color, here you are over in your effect controls, and you can change the color, change the font, fill is your color. Uh, you can move that all around. Just make sure that you actually select something and then click OK. And uh, continue typing. If you need to get back into it, just double click on it. OK. And when you're done with that, if you need to move it, make sure you have your selection tool selected. And then you can grab it and move it all over. Now, this title is called a graphic, and this is the corresponding track. And similar to the other tracks, if you want to change the duration, you can change it right here just by hovering on the beginning or the end, and you'll see the little measuring stick pop up. You can change your duration. So you can leave that title on for the entire time, or you can have it come in and go out. If you want to change the transitions for the title, you would do it the same way you've done your video transitions. Go ahead and double click on that graphic. You want to make sure that up here you're in your effect controls and now you're seeing all of your options there. And then if you want to do a dissolve, an additive dissolve, that'll be an additive, the additive dissolve is what it would look like when it appears, like that. And then a dip to black when it's done and again you can change the duration of both of those let's see what that looks like so make sure we're at the beginning we'll do our playback you see we see it kind of appear and then the videos appear and then we saw it dissolve to black it was really fast and so you could change that but again if you wanted it to be there for the entire video you can do that by just stretching it and it will maintain the effect that you've placed in there so I might actually do this. Okay. And so now actually when it plays back, I'll move my um, cursor right here. 
we'll see the, the video go away and then the title will go away, which is kind of nice. Um, watch your audio meter. If you need to adjust the volume on your playback, if you need to make edits to your audio up here in your workspace, just make sure that you have the audio clip mixer selected and you'll see your different tracks. We want to make sure that we have muted all of the audio for our video tracks. We don't want to hear that. We only want to hear our multi-track. And so let's hear the playback. And if we need to adjust the volume, we can do that. If you need to make changes or edits to your audio, make sure that you're in your audio editor. Make sure you have your audio track selected that you want. And then over here in Essential Sound, you're going to want to make sure that you have music selected. And then you can uh, adjust your volume playback right down here. So pull that back, play. That's going to change your output. When you're done working with that audio, make sure you head back over to editing. And just like all the software we work in, you, you always have to be conscious of the, t the tools that you're working in, whether it's the tool you have selected down here in the timeline or the tool menus that you're using up here, whether you're working with graphics or texts, audio, effects, editing, assembly. Sometimes when we can't figure out how to do something or if something's not working, it's usually because we don't have the right tool selected. Oftentimes, um, students will have the hand tool on, which is like a, which is not the same as the selection tool, which is what you need to actually grab things and move them around the the, the picture, the frame. So at this point, you should be done with your project. Again, we've only just touched the very tip of all the things that Adobe Audition can do. Uh, you could change duration of things. If you wanted to um, select a portion of the video to slow down, you could select that video track and then right click. And there's a lot of options there. Um, especially for speed and duration if you wanted to slow things down. There is also, when you look down here in your audio tracks, make this a little smaller so we can see everything, um, you can add in voiceover narration down here in an audio track. So lots of options for the capabilities of this software. This is why this is great, this software. Have a lot of fun with it. Be brave. If you, something happens and you don't like it, you can always use Control Z. Let me show you how to finish this project up. We are done. We're going to click on File, Export, Media. We want to make sure that the format is H.264. That is an MP4. Double click on Output Name. Pay attention to where you are saving it. And this is the point in which you want to give it a permanent title. And then export.